welcome to the ICE gate academy today we are going to discuss about power systems the power systems will give total of 10 to 12 marks depending upon the gate paper minimum of 12 marks and maximum of sorry minimum of 10 marks and maximum of 12 marks you will get so coming into power systems we have many chapters but today we are going to discuss about performance of transmission lines so when we come up with the performance of a transmission lines first of all the transmission line is a power delivery connection so from sending end to receiving end sending end voltage and receiving end is also voltage it is a purely electrical to electrical energy transfer so while calculating performance of any electrical equipment so we are going to deal with efficiency is the first parameter and second parameter is going to be the regulation so what is efficiency and what is going to be the regulation how we are going to calculate efficiency and regulation of a transmission line so performance power efficiency can be power efficiency as well as energy efficiency so where we will calculate power efficiency and where we will calculate energy efficiency this energy efficiency is we, will, we are going to calculate for distribution transformers power efficiency can be for power transformers as well as transmission lines generators so coming to regulation regulation also we have static regulation second one is a dynamic regulation static regulation we are going to calculate for the equipments which will give electrical output so this is nothing but voltage regulation also voltage regulation or static regulation so as an example transmission lines alternators generators we will calculate static or voltage regulation so coming to second one it is a dynamic regulation so what is a dynamic regulation dynamic regulation is calculated for the systems which will give mechanical energy as a output that is for motors so motors we will calculate dynamic regulation of a system so coming to uh, efficiency so what are the formulas or what are the formula we are going to use for the efficiency calculation so efficiency can be calculated by using formula output power upon input power output power upon input power so what is output power output power can be calculated in many ways so depending upon what kind of equipment we have so this output power can be calculated as input power minus losses input power minus total losses in electrical system upon input power or the second one is going to be output power upon output power plus input power output power plus losses output power plus losses the efficiency can be calculated by using any of these formulas all are going to yield same result so where we are going to use input power minus losses by input power where we are going to use output power by output power plus losses so in mechanical so the elements which will give mechanical output we will calculate input power minus losses by input power so for generators we will calculate output power upon output power plus losses so what are the losses in electrical systems the total losses in a system so what are the losses so losses includes i square r loss plus 
corona loss if operating voltage greater than 220 kV because corona is going to be dominant only when operating voltage is greater than 220 kV. Apart from these losses, we have one more component that is V square G losses that is because of shunt conductance of a transmission line.